from today, God has delivered your enemies into your hands. Arise and shine. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. But God's glory and God's... You are watching Seasons of Redemption with Prophet Peter Kujosego. You have been taking medicine now, and the second even is not going in. You are going for vaccine. You are not even sick. No, you, you are wasting your time. Let those who have faith in it take it. Me, me, my faith is in the blood of Jesus. My faith is in the resurrection power of Jesus. My faith is in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My body, wow, 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 is a temple of the Holy Ghost. I can't give my body to vaccine. I remember one pair of men called hospital. I'm going to call that one vaccine. Ah! So now I went to hospital. The doctor looked at my face and said, Please don't come here again. I said, Mampo, me pandam. That's about it. Mampo, me pandam. Uh, how can you speak fancy? You, you can't speak fancy. You can't speak fancy. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> In my church, small time, I bring fancy. And then, oh, they'll be laughing. They'll be laughing. <laughs> fancy is not good at all. In this realm, it's not good at all. But maybe you like it. <laughs> Come on. So when you, you know Bible, you live in the realm of Bible, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in those days, they drank from well with maggot inside. Yet they live longer. They, they did not live with vaccines. Live by Bible. It's God who created you, and he has a purpose for your life. Nothing will take away your life. Come and say, I am anointed. Amen. Thank you. So you give me number three. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, number three, you are, okay, number two again, number two says what? You remain secure and rest in the shadow of the, of, of the Almighty. Secure. This is your healing for you and your family in the, as we organize this meeting from yesterday to Sunday. Give me number three. It's what? You are going to be strong in the Lord, in the spirit, physical and financial. I wish you would say a big, big, big amen. Come and say, I'm going to be stronger in the Lord, also in the spirit, physical and financial. Come and say, money is coming. Yeah, believe it, believe it. It's happening. God is di distributing money right now. Believe it. I say, I am prophet Elisha in your life. In the time of famine, there shall be a revival. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, so you give me number four. God will always deliver you from temptation and evil. Because you are not yielding to it, it will come. Like I've told you, whatever I've been telling you, so that it is not even fine for people to treat a man of God like that. Somebody who, who has been holy for many years. I've met, it's not even, I can tell you, temptations with dresses, with food, with money. Some even brought money here. And it was like jam money. I told my wife, don't take it to the house. So the money was here. We used to pay library, whatever, then it finished. And I said, when you, have, you put rubber on your hand, I've anointed and cast the charm out of it. Use a rubber on your hand to take the money, give it to the boys to pay for water. Many years ago. So it is not anything somebody gives to you, you need to accept it. Don't go for gift. Let God himself bless you. And prosper you. Come inside and bless. Again and again, it's what I'm for. Uh -huh. God will always, always deliver you. Come and say, God will always deliver me from temptation and evil. Okay, give me number five. You come and say, I have been given authority and power to cast out evil spirits. Come and say, out. Any evil spirit, out. I cast you out. That's it. They are out of your your what your your destiny, your career, your ministry, your home and your house, your finances, your heart, your body. Come and say, all devils are out. That's it. That's it. Believe in God, and you you what you establish. You believe in the servants of prophet, and you will prosper. Then you give me number six. The power and the glory of God rests upon you for success and victory. Come and say the power. And the glory of God rest, rest upon me for success 
and victory. Come and say, I am successful. From today, I'm going to make it. Come and say, the wedding will come on. The accommodation, I will never lose it. The blessing of the Lord, it makes you rich and now no sorrow with it. Deuteronomy 8, verse 1, verse 18. So I'll give you power to make a world. Power. Come and say, I've been given power. Give me Deuteronomy 8, verse 18. I'll give you power. Say, so God has given me authority and power. He says, he says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get word, that he may establish his word, his covenant, that his word, his woe unto thy fathers, even as his word. It is what this day. So power, come and say, power. power. So last one is number seven. You confess this one. Number seven. Shout louder. What? Main. Come and say, from, from today. I, I'm going to maintain my, my realm of apogee. Apogee means mountain top dimension. Come and say apogee. apogee. Remain. <laughs> maintain your apogee. Maintain it. Come and say I am on the mountain top. With God the Father. With God the Son. With God the Holy Ghost. Come and say, I am anointed. Come and say, I am anointed. Come and say, from today, all that I need, God has answered my prayer. I'm going to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Come and say, I am powerful. powerful. That's it. <laughs> so maintain your apogee, your dimension. Maintain it. Maintain, maintain, remain. Be conscious of it. I can watch the live stream from morning to evening and say, I preach this preaching under the anointing. I take one day or two days, Monday, Tuesday. I watch the live stream uh, for more than five times a day. Bro, pray, listen to it uh, to enter me. Now, I don't, need, I don't need to watch it again. After Tuesday, oh, uh, I don't want it again. I mastered the word I preach. So that it doesn't mean that you benefited, I just preach and I didn't get anything. I go to the points again and eat so that it stays with me. We didn't show the live stream because I trust you. So that those who are lazy and they think they watch it on their phone is April Fool. We are in April. Uh huh. So no, nobody is watching. They are dozing, they are sleeping. And you ain't got the car, you ain't got the car. You ain't got the car. You ain't got the car. No, easy. Yesterday it was April Fool. Today too, April Fool. Maybe tomorrow God may change his mind. After we are finished, we can put all of them there again. So, so, so they don't say anything. Okay? Everything is blank. What the conversion is going on? Come and say, I am enjoying it because I am sacrificing. Yeah. Now, what are you free? Sure. Why are you that those in Ilop, they cannot watch? We are doing it to those in Ghana, in Accra. In Accra. So they thought, they thought it has rain. June 10th came and then the convention didn't come on. But you know that powerful, come and say, powerful. You are watching Seasons of Redemption with Prophet Peter Kojusego. That's an anointing because I, I know you. You have been here. God has done so much for you. But this time in this convention, he's speaking only one word, through my mouth, an anointing. And this anointing is going to push lumber, timber, anything the enemy has praised before you. The anointing on you will just. <laughs> an anointing. Come on, say anointing. Ah, I'll talk about it very soon. So as, I, as I'm talking, it has begun. Began. It will well up from, from you. It will start from your ankle, your knee, your waist, and then it will be like an ocean to swim in. Bible says, John 7, 37 to 38, out of your belly shall flow what? The river is what? Of a living water. So please, that is it. That is it. So when it comes, it, the purpose of the anointing is what? What? Embrace the yoke. So if the anointing of God is not there, plenty yokes will be around you. Problems. 
One hurt can bring in a lot of things. One hurt. But if you forgo, <sighs> So, you, you are blessed. You are really blessed by God tonight. And I'm giving you 50 minutes here. It will overflow you. And you start prophesying from tomorrow morning. You prophesy to your son, to your husband, and those in the house. You will start prophesying. Come on. That's the anointing. Sister, that's the anointing. Brother, that is the anointing. She's receiving it. That is the anointing. You, you just bring her here and let God complete it because I'm giving people prophecy because I'm using time. Can you bring her here? Okay. Okay. So, Lord, complete it. <sighs> Come on. Okay, so give her about two minutes. <laughs> give it to Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Don't focus on man. It's not good. All right. So then I may continue. I may continue with another person. Okay. So God is visiting you for something you put before the Lord for over nine years, and God didn't answer them completely. This is the time. This is the Holy Ghost Convention. The convention is organized by the Holy Spirit. We are being used of the Holy Spirit to bless his people. And this is a message you have. Once this one goes, or uh, you, you, God accomplishes this through you, any other thing that you are to accomplish will begin to come to pass. So God is about to visit you. So pray throughout from today to Monday. Pray hot prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Something good. The violent word, what? You can't just do this and say, Lord, and then you are just uh, craning your, your nails and say, God will visit you. No! Pray her prayer. And God will do what he has planned to do with you. God wanted to visit you, to give you something you are praying for. God bless you. Thank you. So my time, okay? God is giving you strength. He's giving you a new strength. You see, the strength comes when we know God's word by heart. Look at me. Your faith is going down because you don't get to make time to read the word of God. You need to take time to read this word of God because uh, the information of God's word is the only way God can use to increase our faith. Our faith increases by the information of the word of God. Fear comes to you when you watch secular TV too much. Fear of this, fear of June third flood, this. <sighs> you become what you see. So you change your direction. And you watch things that can instigate faith and boldness into you. So it is time. Your, your faith is going down, which means your strengths. So work on yourself, eh? So that you begin to prophesy to yourself over your finances, over your heart, over your project, over your dream, over your vision. God wanted to give you headway. He wanted you to excel in life. He wishes above everything that you prosper. What? And be in heart. What? Even as you so prosper. He wishes that everything goes on well with you. That is the wish of God. Your enemies, your family, I mean your family, don't wish you well. But God wishes that everything goes on. So better your education, Bible education, and it shall be well with you. God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let me talk to this man. Yeah, can you stand to your feet? Okay. Yeah, there's something that you have to pray so that you are separated from something. There's something that works with you, moves with you, and has become part of you. And you have to do everything to separate yourself. And if you don't acknowledge it, recognize what, what is happening, then maybe I may leave you. There's something that I become part of you, like husband and wife in the realm of the spirit. You have to divorce it, separate yourself from it before you have a remarriage. So that when you marry, that thing doesn't come to fight you. There's something that I become part of you. That's what I'm, I'm talking about. And I become, it has been giving you bad locks everywhere you go. 
there's something, there's something that entered into your room last year, last two years, and last three years, and it became one with you. A spiritual being. So you need to pray. You need to pray. Sometimes you may fast. Sometimes if somebody's demon possesses and the person fasts, it empowers the demons in him to have more strength. So sometimes fasting to overcome the demons in you or whatever, it is no good. But sometimes it demands the word of God. The word of God is so important. The Bible says it's sharper than any two edges sword. See, so something is happening and I say, I have seen it. But if you don't diagnose it to know it, praying about it, it will never even work because you haven't seen it. But if you have seen it, I don't want to give you indication because people are here. I don't want to give you indication. I can talk about a dream that you have, you have had recently about it, but I don't. when I say it, it, it will be too much for me. So pray because it's been taking money, taking promotion, taking blessing, taking many, many, many things. So I'll pray for you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me go for Uncle Kwame. Yeah. I, I'm seeing Jesus wearing a white garment standing by you. And what he wanted to do is to take you to where he's going. There's water there, like sea. Jesus wanted to walk on water. So he wanted to train you to walk with him on water like he did Peter in the Bible. That is the right. God wanted to pick you so that you follow him. So that he can teach you and train you to become like him. Because in the realm of the spirit, he has blessed you so much, but you don't see the blessings in the physical, because of the laughter you've been leading. I, I don't want to make it too open. Because we are mature in our offices, prophetic ministry. So what is happening is this one. I'm seeing a plantation, coconut trees. I'm seeing land, handle prods. I'm seeing a land that, if it's the will of God, to buy in Ghana, you buy that land, it will be full of gold, and you, be st you start gold business. It's prophetic. If that can happen, you'll get all your money from there, and you begin the mining company from there, because you have registered the land in your name. Prophetically, if that can happen, that is it. This is what God has for you. God has so much for you, but you have less from God, and using your strength to work to get things that God wanted to work for. I mean, work for to achieve. So the Lord says, you are far from him. Come back to him. When I say come back to him, it's not about church. It's about you deciding that I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to drop some things I do in my life. I'm going to ransack some friends out of my life so that I live a life that will, will glorify God. Then you decide to go to church. Going to church is nothing. Going to church is good because people come to church and sometimes they rebel against the Holy Ghost and God can kill them. Some today come to church and God can change them because they have a good heart and God changes them and he blesses them. So I'm coming. This is what is before you. You are living in the laughter that does not correspond with the word of God. And I don't want to make it open. You can come to my house. I can read you. I can keep it. I will not say it. But because we are not saying for sure or to disgrace anybody. So please, Jesus wanted to bless you. He wanted to bless you more than even myself because you are a businessman. God wanted to give you so much. So go and think with your wife. Your wife is ready. Your wife is doing her best to serve the Lord, but you are not. And because you are not leading the family, the enemy has taken uh, chances in the family. He's controlling the marriage and the family. You have to lead the family. As being a head, you should take her to church you wanted to go. You are the head. Sunday, Sunday, Thursday or Friday, you have to go to church. You need to stop whatever you are doing. And through that, within a year, things will be changing. And miracles will be coming. So we have gathered here in, in his name. You see, I was watching on my phone last year that in Spain and in Italy, women would die with long hairs. Beautiful women. 
And then this thing will kill them. Pandemic will kill them. And then they will wrap them and zip it up and throw them in an oven. He say, cemetery is full. So they will burn them. And I said, then life is not important if you don't have Jesus in your heart. Life is useless. <laughs> nice woman and man. He said, how many, how many of you are soft? And they will burn them. Beautiful woman. I am a man, so I'm saying beautiful woman. Oh, why? Did they die? They don't have to die. Pandemic killed them. So if you are here tonight with this convention, few of us are here to sit. That's the best. Best. The value of your life, you can find it through Jesus. Your value of your life is why, is why it's in Jesus. It's the only one who can give you peace, comfort, and everything. Right? That's what I'm talking. God is healing your heart. God is healing your manhood so that you conceive this year and give birth this year. You have two programs, your hearts and here. God is healing you. God is healing you, please. God wanted to give you a new life so that money, you see, you, you work 24 hours than me. Eh? I come here Sundays and Wednesdays. Look at my life. You, so you know me. Look at my life. Where did I get all the monies? Look at my life. It's gone. But you work more than me. You work from Monday to Saturday. I don't work men. I cannot. I work on Wednesday evenings and Sunday mornings. Convention for days. Is the Holy Ghost doing it? So please be determined. Eh? This is part of your life from God. I'm sharing with you. There is more because I'm prophesying through all those who are here. So please change your mind and come back to God. From tomorrow, take all friends on your phone who drink beer, Fanta, whatever. Drink nonsense, not even Fanta. From your phone. Because it's, it's the friends who entertain you and take you there. Please, if I'm working with a friend and this friend will be used to the devil to bring him down. Come on. I want to live alone. I want to become a Christian eager. That is, this now I'm selling is about your life. So that God can heal your mind, heal your heart, and heal your body, heal your marriage. Your wife is good. You've gotten a very good woman. But because two of you can't come together to pray, to go to one church. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. So I want to talk to you. My time is up. So I'm taking me, I'll take about maybe three row. Three row and then because my time is up. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's a faith. Okay. So what I'm seeing in the Lord is this one. I saw something like wrinkleness, wrinkle. Wrinkleness in the realm of the spirit like aged, to be aged, so that a person may die early. But in the realm of the spirit, it was not something that God put it there. It was the work of the enemy that put it there. Rankiness. Rankiness symbolizes in the spirit, aged, to be aged and die early. And God didn't want you to be aged and die early in the realm of the spirit a long time. So what God is doing tonight is that he sent an angel. This is prophetic visions. To remove the wrinkleness out of your life. So that, because somebody is operating with a mirror. When the person put the mirror on you, it brings some, some vapor or some a power, demonic power from the from the mirror into your life. When God also through an angel takes another mirror, different mirror and looks at you, I saw you different, glorious. But when I look through the every mirror that the devil stood here and a demon stood here and then look at what he, he was praising on you, it was like a, excuse me, a monster. And God sent an angel to deal with the demon holding the, that mirror so that God's mirror will reflect on you. God's mirror is the word of God. So that is a realm you are coming. 
Because too much of the anointing can also make you younger. Too much of the anointing can make you younger. Because the lifespan of Igor is what? 120 years. And even many human beings can live even up to 100 years. Our forefathers, they all crossed over 100 years. Abraham was what? He lived up to what? 175. And, and then Isaac was 180. And then Jacob was one. For the seven and Joshua one ten. So and uh, I mean Jacob, all of them. I mean Joshua and who and Joseph over hundred. So our covenant fathers, they all cross one hundred. Then it should be our target to also to cross what one hundred years, because that time they were even drinking from well. They were not drinking from this vortex we buy. They were drinking from well, and Jesus hadn't come. Zoe was not there, but because God was with them, they had covenant with God. They lived longer. They were living even in the, the fall. They were all were doing what? Agriculture. Their occupation was what? Agriculture. Not to work in the office with their air condition. Yet they lived longer. So that is the realm you are in. So the devil has been defeated tonight over anything the enemy is doing to fade you. To do what? You understand? To fade you. God has removed that one. Something that is going on in the spirit and you are not aware. God has saved you from it. So I'm giving you four months. You are going to put on beauty upon beauty, glory upon glory, honor upon honor, favor upon favor, blessing upon blessing. Four months. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, so this is Prophet Israel who traveled to North. He, he comes from North, but he stays in Dansuman. He has a ministry in North and also a branch church in North and also another church here. And he's doing well and he's a young man who's loaded so much with God's blessings. <laughs> Prophet Israel, God bless you. Ah, he's doing well. I think last month or so, last month, the crusade. Very powerful. He did a crusade with some young men and the nine days. Crusade was very powerful. I haven't got to not before. And no, 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 that when pandemic is over, we'll go to not. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so much happy about you when you sent, sent me the pictures. Wow, Prophet is rock. You are doing well. You have that boldness. And no, you're, not, you're not using even using the, the face marks and whatever. Nose marks or whatever, uh, chin marks. You're not using it. And then, then you're, people are falling and then people are manifesting. Demons. Demons from Norton. You, you drove all of them. Put your hands together for Prophet Israel. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what God has for you is that God doesn't want you to live in ministry with overburden issues. Overburden. Living in ministry with a burden. Like, if God gives you special heart to adopt and care for many sons and daughters, it is the will of God. Look at this man, uh, this man called uh, Christo Asafo. Look at what he has done. I think because he has that visual arts and he's been doing aeroplane and cars and whatever. He's gotten money to, to take care of the poor when he was younger up to date. That is beautiful. So if you have it like this, you need to know the stages in life you are to do, to, to do this. So it does not weigh you and discourage you. Right now, whatever responsibility that you have taken, you've taken more than what God requires you to take. You are invited to join the General Overseer, Prophet Peter Kojosego, as he directs our path to God's kingdom. On Praise TV Fridays, 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can also join us at our church auditorium at South Odoko, adjacent St. Anthony School, Sakaman. On Wednesdays, 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Last Friday of every month, half night, and Sunday service, 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. For more details, please call 555 241-303 or 0205-840-459. Worship with us for a huge breakthrough and transformation in your life.